Hey everybody, this is Jeff Jones from theboxman.com and we're going to continue on our series that on in this third video on how to set up your formula device step by step for success in 2025. And to bring it all home, we're going to focus on how to use the formula market and launcher settings for success. This is very, very important. As I get into this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I am super grateful that you guys really like the videos. For those that stick around, I don't mean to talk a lot, but I really, really love what I do, and I'm getting better at it. But give me a thumbs up. It really helps me with the algorithm of YouTube. So without any further ado, we're going to jump right into the screen thumbnail with a shopping cart called The Market. Every media device, including formulas, have their own market full of applications, whether they be VPNs, the DNS web browsers, utilities, and other apps for general help. So you got on the left hand side, you have where it says top 10. Here are some general apps you might recognize, some you might not. Different players. This is all free apps like Plex. This is all in your device here. Here's some, some other things around OTT, okay? Here's some others on VPN and DNS. I mean, they love ExpressVPN, but if you have WireGuard or Surfshark or Nord, or you have LN, L, L, uh, Lily, uh, Lily DNS, this is the, um, the one that's called Cloudflare. Uh, there's all kinds of ones. I use the VPNIO. Then there's games, there's web browsers, and then there's utilities. I normally come in here for the utilities because I like having the best utilities on my device that work very well. For instance, I might use the Team Viewer. The Memory Cleaner is there. I definitely use the File Commander. I like that better than the one they give me. And I use the, the, the Downloader or, or the, the um, Speed Test, Audio Optimizer. There are so many different things that you can use here that you should learn on what to use, all right? Now, when our customers, or when they become customers, they buy this from us, we take them step by step by step on what we use and continue to use, and all of them have massive success because we coach them on how to use the device. You might not think that's a big deal, it's a big deal for someone jumping in the streaming and don't know what to do, and you come along giving them the help that they need. You can also go to the user market. There is all kinds of things, but you should take a look at the market because it's a major, major thing. Let me go back to the home page. The home page is also called your launcher page. And your launcher page on the My TV Online 2 looks a little bit different than the one on My TV Online 3. And this is the one that we're on, the one that has two. As I go down here to the launcher settings here, it's very important these are very important too. You'll notice on the startup app, some people like when the box turns on, it's going to go right to the TV app. I don't like that. I would suggest that you turn it off and none because you want to make sure if you're going Wi-Fi that you have a Wi-Fi connection before it tries to connect and you're going to get an error code saying that there's no uh, connectivity. I would just leave that there. The next thing I would do is I'm the parental settings. If you want to change anything on the device, it's four zero, 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 and hit this. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to leave it exactly the way it is with those four zeros. If you have spicy content and teenagers and you don't want them to have this, at least on this device, you can get some control as a parent by changing your PIN number and making sure you remember it by writing it down or putting it in your phone, whatever it might be. All right. The next thing I do is I want to customize channels. Now, this is a good one. So you can see some of the recent channels that come up. I didn't really go into anything, but you can see what that looks like as I come up. I had AccuWeather and I had Stadium. Those were the recent channels when I turned that on. And each time that you watch your device on the launcher settings, you can put those there. Let's go back to the launcher settings. And this is where I get really excited where you can go to app groups. You got different groups. At the very top here, you got default apps, default A all the way down. And so you can find those sorry, right here. And those are the different groups there that you can change, rearrange, and do all of that. 
Now, the good thing is you can go here and put on wallpaper if you like, all right? And they base it on the default. So you got a locker, you got default A, you got apps, default A, and default B. So if I go up to apps, and let's say I have a local, I have a local drive, a thumb drive in back of my device. As I open this up, I know what's already at the bottom here. And if I come here and I click on this and hit the back button, hit the back button again and again and again, here's the joker right here. And this is what you can do. I like this picture. It looks a little bit weird, but I really like the Joker because he's Batman's alter ego, if you will. And since you can personalize and put different things on it, you should learn how, and it's very easy. I just showed you, put a thumb drive in there in the back of your device, make sure there's some photos on it, and then go to the launcher settings. You can always take it off later on. I think this is a great way to, great way to personalize your device and make it your own. And this is the video that means a lot to a lot of people because now that you've done in video number one, you set up your live TV, you set up the settings in My TV Online 2, and in video two, you learned how to use developer options, you've learned how to set up some audio settings that work for me, and some connection settings that work for me. And in video number three, this one, you've learned what's in the market and you've learned how to personalize your device. That is how you set up a formula device step-by-step step in 2025 for success. If you guys have any questions about some of the things I've gone over in these three videos, please don't hesitate to put those in the, the description or the comments below. If you know a better way of doing it, please share with us so we can all learn. I don't want to be a know-it-all. I'm just sharing what really, really works for me. As I close out this video, I want to thank you guys. I hope your January has been prosperous. I want to thank all my new customers in January. There was 150 people that chose to purchase devices from us from theboxman.com. Go ahead and go to that website. Go into the chat. Ask us how we can give you the best discounts and what the best box is for you. With that said, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.